really happened at Apiate, the explosion that happened at Apiate, the story involves a truck, I mean a truck carrying chemicals, a motorcycle, unsuspecting Ghanaians, typical Ghanaians, and um, I have the full just for you of what really happened at this town that has left this town in this state. The, the nation is mourning, yes, and um, we, are, we are very sorry, I mean, condolences to everybody in Apiate. This is sad. I have the full gist of what really happened, eyewitness account, with some videos of the moment the explosion happened. I'm the headless YouTuber, this is headless reaction. Salatiawe, Yenka! So as soon as the incident happened, the Ghana police brought out the, this statement. They said emergency public notice, a huge explosion occurred this afternoon, Thursday, January 20, 2022, at Apiati between Bogoso and Bodie in uh, the western region. The police and other emergency service providers have activated a full emergency recovery exercise. We urge all to remain calm as we manage this unfortunate situation. Full details will be communicated in due course. Now, a lot of people are just, you know, flying stories here and there. Some people are saying dynamite. Some people are saying this, this, that. Now, this is what happened. Maxim Explosives Limited. This is a, a company that provides um, explosives to most of these mining sites, you know. And I think nowadays they don't use dynamite and stuff anymore. They have some chemicals they use and... A Maxim, a Maxim Explosive Limited truck carrying chemicals. We don't know where they were from, where they were going to. But usually, when these trucks are moving, they move with escorts. And these escorts tell people, hey, stay away. What is coming is dangerous. Stay away. But yesterday, this truck that was moving didn't have any escorts. The truck was moving on its own. And... Because there was no escort, this motor rider decided to do overtaking. And while this motor rider was doing the overtaking, something went wrong. The motor, uh, the thing threw the motor rider. And the motor rider fell on the floor, you know, with scra scratching on the floor and all that. And while the motor rider, the thing was scratching, his floor was pouring. The motor rider's floor was pouring. And because, you know, metal on asphalt sparking fire and stuff like that. So there was a fire. And this is a maximum truck that was coming. So the truck was trying to save the motor rider. And unfortunately, the motor, um, the, the motor itself went under the car and that was how fire started. Now the explosion didn't happen immediately. That wasn't how the explosion happened. As soon as the, the truck caught fire, the driver and the assistant driver got out of the car because they know what they are carrying because they know how dangerous the chemicals are because they know the extent of um, damage that explosion can be you know? they started warning people to run away they were warning people don't come close run away run for your lives and you know Ghanaians, we've seen something accidents it is now that people are pulling out their phone to take videos so that they can get their three points on social media. And because of that, you know, people were going closer. You can see this video. Look at this video. People were moving closer to a burning truck. They didn't know what was in the car. And they were just going closer, going closer. Meanwhile, the driver has told them not to, not to move closer. Because of that, the driver ran away. The, he ran away. He knows the danger. He ran away. The rest of the people were just moving closer and all of a sudden, explosion. And this explosion was so massive that it created a crater, a hole in the asphalt. And the road is not accessible anymore. All the plants around that place, all the greenery around that place is now brown. People that were meters away, meters away from the explosion um, site, the ground zero. People that were meters away felt the impact. Houses shook. And 
you know, all, most of these houses are just ruined now. And this is sad. So that's how the whole explosion happened. And because of that, we've lost a lot of lives. Those who were moving closer to the vehicle, the burning vehicle, they, I think they, are, they were the first to lose their lives. That's sad. All these people that were moving close to there, as soon as the explosion happened, come and see scatter. And the sad part is people who were in their houses who didn't even know something was burning. Someone who was about um, some meters, let's say 300, 400 meters away from where the, the truck exploded. No? Minding their own business in their house. They also felt the impact and the buildings have broken onto them. Buried under a uh, debris. That's what's going on. Buried under all this. <laughs> oh, God. This is sad, though. This is sad. Now, um, the chemicals that uh, this truck was conveying, it is called Anfex, or ANFO, which is um, an explosive mixture of ammonium nitrate and fuel oil. Apparently, this is what they now use for explosives. They don't use dynamite and stuff anymore. So this is a very, very explosive compound. And look at the extent of damage. There's a, a drone shot of the whole place. And if you see the, the length and breadth of uh, the damage, you, know, you can be watching the videos. The videos are still showing. Alata, you are showing the videos, right? Uh -huh. The videos are showing. This is the level or the extent of damage that has happened. Look at this. Now, in every uh, community, you no. Know, there are bad people, there are good people. We've established that fact a long time. I think most people were heading towards the burning truck because they thought someone was in there they were going to save. Others too should have known because this is not the first time a truck has burned. I saw a fuel truck, a video of a fuel truck that was uh, that had toppled over and fuel was running out. And people went to use buckets. To fetch the fuel. And then the thing caught fire and a whole lot of people died. This time it wasn't fuel. It was explosives for mining. And while people were wailing and people were hurt. You know the explosion you know, that happened. You know? um, a, lot of, a lot of shops were destroyed. A lot of houses were destroyed. Even by the time the first respondents got there. People were shouting and the buildings, I'm here, I'm here, please come and save me. Some people were even using their phones to call people they know. I'm, I'm here, I'm buried under my house, come and help me. And while all this were going on, Kobe Bini, black man who has seen an opportunity, was going around stealing things from shops that have been broken down and the provisions and stuff are on the floor. Hey! <laughs> so, at this point, Four people have been arrested. Can you imagine? Four people have been arrested for um for trying to steal from all from this the um your friend saying all these broken houses and stuff. But that one is for later because what we are dealing with is big. So let's finish dealing with the people, those who are hurt. Let's try to see um the number of people who are hurt, those we can save and stuff like that. Then we'll deal with the thieves who decided to take advantage of some people's misfortune to steal and loot. So this is what happened. You can see a drone shot of the entire place. And look at how far the blast went. Look at how damage has been done. Houses, were, houses caught fire, transformer was destroyed. Now the place is inhabitable. This is, oh God, this is sad. And this is what happened at um, Apiate on the road to Bogor. So, you know, that, that side is a mining site or Bwasi and stuff like that. It's a mining area. So it's common for trucks to be moving with these explosives, but they usually move with escorts. I don't know what happened. How come this time it didn't move with escorts? I think the company has to come out and say something. Mag Magnum. 
Explosives Limited have to come out and say something. Because this, a lot of lives have been lost, over hundreds. Hundreds. So this is exactly what happened on the road. And um, you can see from the, the moment the car was burning to when it exploded, buildings that were close to the place, buildings that were close to the roadside, totally demolished. Buildings that were far from the roadside also demolished. This is sad. So our hearts go out to um, the people of Apiate and uh, the entire Bogoso Township and um, everybody in Ghana. Monshedin, we are sorry for your loss and uh, we just hope people will take and um, learn a lesson from this. If you see a burning truck, if you see any accident, um, it is good to try to help people but if the situation can't be saved or if you can't help anybody, please don't try. Don't try. Because at this point, <laughs> so I just need, you know, Ghanaians to be very vigilant. If you see an accident, be very vigilant. If you don't have the proper training, please keep your distance because you don't know what exactly the, the thing is conveying. And I'm just sad that they didn't listen to the driver when the driver told them to run away. And because of that, you know, this has happened. This is sad news for uh, the entire country. And um, it's sad. And I don't know, watch other videos on this channel. And um, even though we are sad, try to entertain yourself with other videos on this channel. This episode is sad, yes. It's, uh, it's serious. I know, I don't know. I don't know.